guys welcome back to my wonderful booktube channel the dramatic booktuber it is great to see you through this lens again life uh today i thought as i'm starting to come out of my reading slum and life is just seeming a bit better that i would give you a wonderful book review on the book that i have just read that brought me out of my reading slump and that book is red queen by victoria Aveyard. it was amazing i couldn't put it down i think it took me like two three days to read and that's with school so that was really good for me um there are no words to describe this book other than amazing. Literally, it was just mind-blowing. I am in love with this book. Can somebody please let me know when the next one comes out? Because I seriously need to know this. This is vital information. Also, I thought I'd just say um, I'm going to do the beginning bit uh, with sort of just like synopsis, talking about a little bit about it, but non-spoilery. And then partway through this wonderful video, I will go into spoiler mode. So I will let you know, I'll be like, right, those of you who are currently reading the book and have finished or haven't read the book, leave now. And that will be your warning. So if I then spoil things for you, it's your own fault, not mine. So Red Queen is about Mare Barrow, a girl who lives in the slums of this world. This world is divided by blood. So those with silver blood have special abilities and they are the upper class. And those who have red blood are the lower class and live in the slums and work for the silvers. They're silvers and reds, it's generally what they tend to be called in this book. Mare somehow gets herself in front of the silver court and trouble ensues. Which, you know, is like what everyone wants in a book. We all want like trouble ensuing, so it was very, very good. I would recommend this to anyone who has enjoyed the Throne of Glass series. Um, it's very much that sort of genre. Uh, not the same in any way, but just really, really good, really good, read it. And don't you think this book cover's gorgeous? I mean, seriously. Like, it's lovely. I, I mean, I want to marry this book cover. It's so beautiful. Okay guys, I'm about to go into spoiler mode. So, those of you who are currently reading this book, or haven't read it, leave now. That was your warning. If you haven't left by now, spoilers. Okay, so to those of you who have read the book, oh my god, please tell me you were surprised by the plot twist at the end as I was, because... <sighs> it's like, it says so many plot twists in this blinking book. I mean, I was totally Team Maven until, like, the plot twist. But then at the same time, I was sort of like, oh, this like, seems a bit fishy. Um, <laughs> and, and so I was like, yeah. And I was sort of like, oh, but Cal's like kind of nice but then yeah so I was I was just I was really torn with that but I mean personally I really loved the character of Mare I thought that she'd been really well characterized and I like the fact that she doesn't just go for the guys you know she doesn't just like go oh you're gorgeous <laughs> I'm yours she doesn't do that she totally is her own self and I think that is wonderful because she is a strong woman in a book and we need more strong women in books you know, tell me in the comments if you think we need more strong women in books, because I personally think we do. Is it me, or did nobody expect that from Maven, though? Because I thought he was so nice, and then I was like, mm -hmm. this is almost too good to be true, but then again, it's a book, so... He's gonna be the nice prince, but he wasn't! He's evil! That's where the quote, anyone can betray anyone, really came in, I think, and to me, I've now got that quote as the screensaver on my laptop, I'm like, right, this is... <laughs> Um, I think it's like really good and I, I just enjoyed this book so much I think it is just one of the best books I've read so far this year and we now have to wait like a year for the next book and um, I don't want to wait <laughs> so Victoria Aviad if you have like a pre-release copy please I need to know I was like I was like book hangover after this I was just like <laughs> That's the best way I can describe it. <laughs> That's the best way anyone can describe a book hangover. The bit that really shocked me in this book was when Maven chopped his dad's head off. Oh, it wasn't him, it was Cal. But at the same time, I was like, oh my god, I was not expecting that. No, sir. That was not on the playing cards, seriously. I mean, I hadn't even thought something like that would happen in this book. So, for me, this is a real twist of turns of books, so, yeah. Okay guys, so thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, let me know in the comments, and uh, let me know what you think I can improve of, because I am always willing to improve. Improve. 
let me know. Uh, feel free to subscribe if you would like to, and feel free not to subscribe if you don't want to. It's your life, not mine. You can also find any of my social media on my main page, so if you click on my wonderful name that's somewhere down here, I don't know, I'm not knowledgeable of these things, then um, you go into the app, and then on the main banner, you got the little, like, icons. It's somewhere there. You'll find them. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Feel free to comment, like, subscribe, unlike, unsubscribe, anything. It, you know, it's up to you. YouTube is pretty liberal. Anyway, thank you for watching, guys. 